with that you recently dropped a commentary called movement pains and in it you spoke about the oppressed and the abuse of power within the movement can you speak to that because of the fact that that's prevalent right now and, it, and we know it's always been well uh you know i i think about things from different perspectives so you know when i write i try to be original in my thinking and not uh <clears throat> just additive of what others are saying. So uh, if I'm not bringing anything original to the table, I'm not talking, right. you know, just echo. And, you know, echo can create rebirth, and, you know, and in radio, that ain't cool. You right. did. Yes, sir. So uh, I want to bring something new to the table. So that means you have to kind of think things through and, and uh, just bring it when it's there, when it's timely, right on. when the time is right. Um, you know, the movement uh, has shifted as life has shifted. And, uh, but, you know, on the whole, I think that this is uh, really a wonderful period, right, to be alive because uh, people are awake. Uh, I was going to say awake. And I was tempted to say woke, but people have a week to um, really the poisons of the system in ways they haven't been for decades. You know, there are a lot of people who never lived during the 60s. That was one of the freest moments I know in my own kind of personal life as being part of a group of revolutionaries known as the Black Panther Party, but right now. those periods repeat themselves, right, in cycles throughout history, right? And, you know, given the technology that brings people face-to-face with the George Floyd situation and similar situations around the country, many, many people have awakened to the nature of this beast because they couldn't turn away from it. They were looking literally live, right? In real time. That's right. At a modern day legal legend. And it, you know, it freaked them. It freaked them out. Right. Because right? they couldn't believe it. That's like, uh, you know, this ain't a TV show. That's right. It's a reality. You get it? Right. And the, the real truth behind that is that it happens. Damn there every day. That's right. But people don't see it. They don't feel it. When you're looking at a man in his 40s crying for his mama, That's because right. he knows, right, that he has moments left to live. <clears throat> because he, as he explained, he can't breathe. experience. 